before we get into the actual recipe, I want to make a comment on something. What you're seeing there that looks like a dirty pot, because it was pointed out to me rather rudely on the Instagram or maybe it was the YouTube, that we saw you cooking with a nasty, dirty pot. And I know you can use liquid vim to clean that. This is an enamel pot. It's been glazed. Yeah. That that you're seeing on the bottom there, that is a natural patina because you do not, whether it's a liquid abrasive or powder abrasive like vim, you never use that in your pan. Irie, so the pan is dirty. That is just the natural. It's been, you know, patina aged. It's been used. Couple tablespoons of olive oil. If you wanted to use coconut oil, you will get a lovely flavor from that coconut oil. My heat is on medium at this point. I'm just gonna hit him a little dance just to make sure I coat the entire bottom of the dirty pot. <laughs> dirty pot, man. Look here, your cut is month. In goes prepared salted cod. A prepared salted cod. If you're looking for a video on how to prepare it and what I mean by that is you would try to rehydrate it and remove most of the salt it was cured in. There's a video on my food FAQ channel. What I'm going to do is turn my heat down to low. We'll allow it to develop that lovely salt fish or salted cod. I mean to say if you're using um, Pollock or Alaskan or something that's that's cool. Nobody ain't hating on you for that. Um, that we saw at door in the Caribbean. This has been what's called boned or boneless salt fish. Um, <clears throat> but <clears throat> I still went through and I, you know, a close eye on things because sometimes you may still find a bone or two in there. Um, all you would do is boil it in, boil it in um, well, water, drain it, squeeze it, and, and, and take it apart, uh, shred it, or, or whatever you want to do. In my case here, I I placed the salted cod in a bowl and I poured in boiling hot water. I allowed it to sit for about five minutes. Then when it was cool, I shredded it, rinsed it, and I squeezed all of the water out. The heat is just a little too low, so I'm gonna go just a tad above um, low. As the fun happens, in goes onion. We also need some garlic in there. I like adding a bit of fresh thyme fresh ground black pepper and the recipe will be posted to caribbeanpot.com in a few days so if you want the printable version of this it will be available on uh, caribbeanpot.com and this is basically making use of the string beans that Tali and I harvested there you know first harvest of the year for my garden um, it, it, there wasn't a lot so we're just trying to put together a nice little dish here for lunch and I won't be using any scotch bonnet pepper because lately I've been trying to introduce him to more foods from the Caribbean and stuff like that and I'm not ready for him to burn up his tongue and all kind of thing like that yet. I'm trying to encourage, not discourage. My heat is still on low so I've got some bell pepper and that is just some pepper that's been sitting in the, um, in the fridge there. I also want to give it a bit more herbal element, so some scallion. Hit that another little toss. If you want to add a tiny bit of ginger in here, you can rock some ginger in here. It's totally up to you, yeah? At this point, I'm gonna add all of these string beans to the pot. Give it a good mix to coat it with all those flavors we created at the bottom, at this very start there at the bottom. I'm going to toss in a couple tablespoons of water in here because I want this to sort of steam saute but before we do I want to add one more ingredient tomato I love adding tomato into this dish because it not only brings a sweetness once cooked out it also brings a bit of acidity and we talk about balance from time to time or well, just about every time I cook we speak about balance um, <clears throat> I'm going to add that water in there, just a splash of water and we're going to put the lid on but that whole balance and making sure flavors come together nicely is all about enjoying it at the end, yeah? 
So what I'm going to do now, one more thing. You notice I had the thyme in big sprigs. If you wanted to remove the leaves and um, <clears throat> add it directly to there rather than having the sprigs of thyme in there, you can do that. I just find that I get a bit of more flavor, a bit more flavor out of having the, the stems in there. It will not take long for it to come up to a boil. So what I'm gonna do is turn my heat down to low. And you notice the pot was completely closed because normally when I cook with a pot closed, I usually leave it slightly ajar with the breathing sort of room for it to breathe. But this time, because we're doing that sort of steam saute, I'm not gonna do that. So back on goes the lid. And we're gonna cook that until it's nice and tender. It's been going for 15 minutes with the lid on. Hit that a quick stir, and now here is where you're going to start personalizing things. I want to burn off the water because the beans did let off a bit of water, and we also added some water, so I'm going to give it another three minutes. I'm just going to turn up the heat slightly and burn off that liquid. The other thing is, you would have noticed I didn't put any salt in here. Here is the point where you will check it for salt, make sure you like the salt and if you're wondering well Chris we didn't put salt what you're talking about salt well the salted cod that we add in there even though we boiled it or we soaked it in in, in boiling water whatever uh, method you used it will still contain a bit of remnant salt in there I tasted it it's perfect for me I'm not gonna add any more salt so at this point that is the sort of personalization you're gonna do <laughs> sup soldiers listen if you enjoy this recipe, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing. If you've made the recipe, take a picture and send it to me, email address down here. I'm mean, trying to tell people the email address, then butts will take the address and do all kind of thing with it. And tag me on Instagram at Caribbean Pod. I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today. Irie, Irie. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you all in the kitchen with me. Introducing Polly to gardening and harvesting and washing and cleaning and cooking and all that. So, you know, one of the things, not only would I love for you to do this recipe, but if you're doing this recipe, try to do it with a family member, especially someone small who will, I mean, they say sometimes grown people too and know how to cook, so... Yeah, invite an adult as well because they will learn and you know one of the greatest gifts you will give people is how to feed themselves, yeah? Kyrie? Haha! <laughs> Irie. What's up soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe if you've already clicked subscribe. Hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click.